The numbers show there's an increase of gun violence across the city. Last month, Chicago police logged 83% more shootings in the same month just two years ago. Democratic State Representative Margaret Croak has just introduced a bill aimed at reducing gun violence, and she joins us now live to explain. Representative, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Can you explain this bill and where Texas comes in? Yes, so this law allows for Illinois residents to bring a civil suit against a gun manufacturer, gun dealer, or um, gun importer. And for our purposes, gun dealer does mean someone who transfers a gun illegally or illegally. This plays into the Texas legislation because the Supreme Court has decided that this argument Texas made about being able to sue Uber drivers and health care providers if they perform an abortion uh, is sound. So I am using the same legal argument to tackle the gun violence epidemic and see if there's any way we can continue to deter criminals getting their hands on these guns. It's called the Protecting Heartbeats Act, which is similar to the name of Texas for the abortion law. There are many who have attempted to try to end gun violence with various, uh, you know, bills, et cetera, et cetera. What makes you think this would work? This is definitely a tool that should accompany all the other systemic uh, root causes we're trying to tackle in the General Assembly. But I have seen through the history books and through our society that it seems you have to go after people in their pocketbooks to deter any negative behavior, especially corporations and manufacturers. So this goal is our goal is to go after their pocketbooks to see if this can be a deterrent to make people uh, be held accountable uh, for selling these firearms. But there's really no barometer right now, right? Uh, what do you mean by barometer? I mean, you haven't seen this before. This is the first time we've yeah. seen something like this before. Yeah, this would be a new piece of legislation in our country. Um, I'm sure it will be an uphill battle, but why not try it? Right. We, we have to try everything we can to stop three-year-olds from being shot in our city. I had a, uh, a armed robbery outside my door yesterday, and I have a 20-month-old. Mm, mm. And that's, that's scary. Nine o'clock at night in my neighborhood, I mean, we need to do everything we can. What are your critics saying to this bill? Most of my critics say it's unconstitutional, but I felt that same way about the Texas legislation. Right. Uh, there is also federal legislation that uh, creates immunity around these manufacturers. I think that you should challenge that. If there is a bad law in our country, we have a history of challenging bad laws. So that, that's, that's the goal here. So if, and I'm reading the information about this, um, this bill, that if the claimant wins the suit, the court will award injunctive relief and damages of no less than $10,000 for each person injured or killed by the firearm. So this hits them in their pocketbook, as you say. Exactly. It hits the um, the potential straw dealer. It hits the gun manufacturer, and it hits the the gun uh, the gun shop. Uh, I, I, again, let's let's get them where it hurts. And it seems the only place people listen is is when their their pocketbooks yeah. are hit. How does this differ from what Mayor Lightfoot is saying to get the gun manufacturers to get the people selling the guns? I think that this is, again, just another tool, and mm -hmm. I hope a tool that the mayor will support and use. It can be in conjunction with anything that she's trying to do to curb violence. I mean, we all have to do this together. This is a massive epidemic where 1,300 people a year are being killed by guns. We have to all, all hands on deck. Representative Margaret Croak, thank you so much. Be safe. Be well. Thank you. The United